This is a high sense air source heat pump. The most common question that we get asked from installers is how do we actually wire these things up? So today we're going to go through all the wiring connections. We're going to show you wiring diagrams on all the mains, the controls, the pumps, etc. So let's get this cover off. Welcome to designmeaheatpump.com. Okay, so let's get this cover off then. Okay. Get into our electric board here. Two. You'll notice there's absolutely tons of wire connections here. This is mainly because we've been testing this unit out. So you wouldn't normally have this amount of wires here basically. Let's turn the power off. So before we go through all these wiring connections here, let's take a look at the wiring diagram. The wiring we are looking at today is based on a pipework design of a single radiator zone direct into the heating system with a volumizer on the return. So single zone, no hydraulic brake, based on a third party thermostat or using the Hisense controller as your main thermostat. So here is the main power supply to your heat pump, either a 20 amp or 32 amp supply depending on whether it's a 4 kilowatt or an 8 kilowatt heat pump. This is the power supply to your immersion heater relay contactor, a 16 amp supply to take 3 kilowatts. This is your third party thermostat connections. It will give a live feed out on L1. You put a feed into your controller through the common, through normally open, back in on I1. This will then trigger the heat pump in heating mode. This is your high sense controller. Connections into A and B. This cable should be screened cable. You need to put a link in here between L1 and I12. This was for the immersion overheat for the domestic hot water. This is our connection for the DHW three-way valve. Output 606 gives a 230 volt feed to the valve. It should be a spring return valve. And finally, your hot water tank sensor will connect into A8 on the sensor pockets. Right, let's start with the main power supply. Here it is coming in here, a live neutral on earth. Comes into here and splits off to two different directions. One direct to the compressor through relay contactors and to feed the PCB boards. This supply comes directly from our main isolator and would be either 20 amp or 32 amp, depending on the size of the unit. Note our lovely metal cable ties. The connections below it are the feed to our relay contactor for our immersion heater, HL and HN. So this would put 230 volts down when the system decides the immersion needs to run. So down through here is our 230 volt strip. Here's where all our pumps, our valves, our hot water control, our hot water overheat link goes in there and anything that's 230 volt. Down here is all our low voltage stuff. So there's all our sensor plugs, one to eight, and then here's all our low voltage connections. A and B for the master controller, and transmission controls if you need it, number one and two. Up in this top left corner is also a connection to an additional electrical backup heater if required. You would put a three kilowatt supply in, it goes down through a fuse, down through a relay contactor, the system says I want the emergency backup heater to come on, and it would then put power out to up to three kilowatt. This heat pump has so many different wiring connection options. 
You can make it really basic by just using the high sense controller as your thermostat, or you can introduce lots of pumps and valves and sensors. You can configure it however you want to design it. It's amazing. And also, all these are basically just outputs. They're assigned as default to various pumps and valves, but if anything goes wrong with any of these outputs, the relays break, you can rewire your heat pump and reassign all those relays, something I've never ever seen before on any other heat pump. So that's a big thumbs up from Hisense on that point. Please tell me if you've seen this on others. So that's it for today from designmeaheatpump.com on this Hisense wiring. If you've got any questions about the wiring or anything else to do with heat pump, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.